So this is on chromatographic methods. This method is based on the principle that different compounds of a mixture are differently absorbed on an adsorbent. The mixture is put in a liquid or gaseous medium which is moved through the absorbent. Different compounds are absorbed at different levels. You are able to see it. Later the absorbed compounds are removed by using suitable solvents. So the suitable solvents are called as eluent and the absorbed compounds are called as eluter. Depending upon the physical state of the moving medium and the absorbent material and also on the process of passage of the moving medium, the chromatographic method, the name is given. Here is a flow meter detector. You got the column with open flow injector pump and solvent tank is here. This is a schematic diagram showing column chromatography. In one such method, the column of aluminium oxide is prepared in a glass tube, and the moving medium containing a solution of the components is in liquid form. This is a typical example of column chromatography. It's really useful for purification of the elements which are available in minute quantities. And the impurities are not very different in chemical properties from the element to be purified. There are several chromatographic techniques such as a paper chromatography, column chromatography and gas chromatography is available. Here is the procedure. That's it. Wow. Thanks for watching a GTA Techno Solution product on purifying the metals from impurities. Thank you.